What's up guys, Will with F1 Tech here. So, man, today's a special day. Uh, UPS is just about to arrive with a gift. It's not really, a g well it is a gift, but I, I mean, not really because I paid for it, which is my personal birthday present. Yes, today is my birthday. So, I'm just waiting and uh, we'll go ahead and open this box. Here they are. Huh? You got a second one. This one here? No, uh, this is my second time. This is coming. That time it got damaged. What was damaged? Yeah, that, it was like off the pallet and I guess it fell here. I brought it inside and uh, I opened it. There was a crack on it. It wouldn't turn on. No shit. Alright guys, so what was originally was supposed to be a unboxing video of a pretty badass computer turned out to be anything but. So I'm going to give you my experience or show you my experience of what I dealt with uh, trying to get this custom built computer. Uh, I went with a company called Digital Storm. Um, uh, I'm going to show you guys videos coming back and forth of me unboxing the computer and uh, setting it up, uh, turning it on, and finding issues that I was running into. Um, just as a backstory, I purchased this computer back, I think it was Black Friday, right after Thanksgiving. Um, and I'll go over the specs with you guys in just a moment. So. Uh, when I received the computer, uh, there was issues right off the bat. So uh, UPS, when they, you know, brought it through a freight truck, um, when I saw it, there was a nice gash on the computer box, and um, you know that started. You know, I had a red flag. When the guy opened it, uh, the the back door. I saw the computer laying flat like it had fallen. It wasn't on a pallet um, as all the computers or Ventum 3s. That, that's the computer that I got, guys. I got an Ventum 3 uh, from Digital Storm. And when they ship those, they ship them on a pallet. And uh, this particular computer, I don't know what happened. If UPS just didn't want to bring it with the pallet or if it was on originally on a pallet or not. Uh, when it came to my house, it was not, and it was lay, laying flat on the, the flatbed as if it had fallen. So uh, I put on the ticket, um, you know, I was going to inspect, box was damaged, and I started, uh, I brought the computer into my house. I uh, started unboxing it, you know, everything was good, fine, I'm getting all excited. And uh, what I noticed was one of the plexiglass uh, on the case on the back was cracked I can only assume that happened during shipping and um, you know I was just at that point I was like man come on um, so you know I was like well I'm not gonna call yet let me first make sure that the computer is working so I connected the computer and uh, as soon as I connected it you know there was there was some life I saw the, the motherboard uh, was the RGB was lighting up so I was like all right good so I pressed the power button and the computer would not turn off uh, so it looked like the something happened during shipment and the motherboard um, what I thought and what digital source thought because I called them was the motherboard somehow got short-circuited or some damage was caused to the motherboard so I had to send the computer back after waiting you know over a month for it to get built and sent over to me um, and uh, you know UPS took about a week to come pick up the computer got sent to digital storm and uh, they worked on it for I don't know I would say almost two weeks and um, you know it was my birthday uh, coming up pretty soon and I asked if they would have it done before then 
and lo and behold you know it went through their processes the i guess they have a couple of stages that the computer needs to go through first to make sure that it's stable make sure that it's running properly and make sure that there's no uh, you know kinks to it so uh, after they do that run their test marks or their tests and their benchmarks uh, they have a quality assurance guy or girl uh, who checks the computer and makes sure that whoever installed it did their job properly and is met up to their standards so uh, they did this and I got a message saying that uh, everything was ready and it was gonna be uh, delivered uh, you know shipped out so uh, again by UPS Freight um, you know I got a email from UPS Freight that it was gonna be shipped on my birthday so I was pretty excited um, as soon as they came I got my video camera out because I wanted to film the whole thing and Lord and behold when the UPS driver lifted up the back gate uh, there was a huge pallet that fell right on top of my computer and I was like what <laughs> so uh, you know I, I had to write on the ticket again that I'm going to inspect this uh, pallet fell on top of the computer I don't know if there's any damages caused by this so I brought it back into the house um, into the into my room and I started unboxing and uh, everything was you know going all right I didn't see any cracks any liquids uh, uh, you know I got liquid coolant on this computer again I'll get I'll run over the specs with you guys in just a little bit um, but uh, what happened was I plugged everything in and you know the RGB light on the Asus uh, motherboard started lighting up like how it did the first time and lo and behold I pressed the power button and it did not turn on and at this point you know I was just I was upset guys I, I probably went a little bit overboard you know throwing some f-bombs here and there you gotta be kidding me there's no way So what I did next was call Digital Storm. Um, I talked to a guy, I believe his name was Steven. And uh, you know, I told him right off the bat that I was trying to stay calm uh, because of the situation that I was in. And you could tell that uh, he, he became a bit defensive at that point. Like, you know, I told him I wanted a refund. He was like, yeah, dude, whatever. Like that's how he was speaking. He was, was kind of like unprofessional a bit. But whatever, you know, at this point, I didn't care. I just wanted to return the computer because of what was going on. Um, one thing I will give to this guy was that uh, he was persistent on wanting to try and fix the problem and see if we could troubleshoot the situation. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I really wanted this computer, guys. Uh, you know, this is a badass computer. The specs on it is, is top notch. So I was willing to give it a, a shot. Um, so, you know, it took us about 30 minutes or more, maybe close to 40 minutes to finally get this computer up and running. Um, uh, we had to reset the mother motherboard. Um, a couple of things we had to do uh, to get this computer on. I managed to do it. I was happy, you know. Uh, so kudos to Steven for sticking through it and uh, being persistent and getting this computer on. Uh, so after that, uh, he went onto the computer remotely and made sure all the settings were fine, um, the computer was running good, uh, that everything was just you know running the way it should. And we started getting into the motherboard and uh, he, the computer came overclocked, was supposed to come overclocked five gigahertz. Right, I got a i7 8700K, um, you know, water cooled, so it sh should be no problem to get it to five gigahertz. But he recommended that we, uh, you know, don't do that, so we can have you know a stable computer for right now. And I, you know, I'm fine with that. That's cool. So, uh, you know, naturally, my question was, when do you think I should 
overclock this to five gigahertz? When would be a good time? And uh, he all of a sudden just flipped the script and started going off over the phone. Uh, you know, there is no way in hell someone on a customer service side should get on their customer for asking them a question. He assumed that I wanted to overclock the computer at that point. Uh, even if I wanted to, even if that was the case, that still doesn't give him the right to get at me on the phone the way he did. So I snapped right back and yeah, probably, you know, I shouldn't have done that. But at that point, I was like, who the hell is this guy yelling at me asking a question? And, uh, you know, things escalated a bit. And when I told him, you know, that he had no right to assume that I wanted that at that moment. I was asking him a question on when I wanted to overclock this computer. Uh, he apologized and, um, you know, could pretty much left it at that. Um, I, I was, <laughs> I was, uh, it, it was, it was a heated conversation, guys. I was pissed off. Um, so uh, he checked the computer. Everything was running perfectly fine. Uh, I turned it off and I was like, I'll work on this tomorrow. I come back from work the next day, turn on the computer, started uh, customizing it the way I had it from my last PC, getting all my programs and everything on there. And then last, I wanted to work on the RGB lights uh, on the computer itself. So the computer has about 14 thermal take ring fans. And um, I noticed at the bottom where the radiators are at, I couldn't find the controller to change the colors on it my my whole scheme and theme is more of a, a red white and um, black you know that's what I pretty much got around uh, my setup uh, and the fans were blue at the bottom um, you know I didn't want it I wanted red you know I paid good money to have it whatever color I wanted uh, and I called digital storm and they told me that uh, the controllers are usually placed on top of the radiator. If I just open the, the grate um, and look on top, I will see the controller uh, for the fans. So I did that and um, no controller. So I'm looking all over. I'm tr I I'm just trying to follow the, the fan where the wires are going and I see that it's behind the radiator. So the only way I can look there is if I unscrew the, the front panel uh, and unscrew the bottom 140 millimeter fan and lord and behold i'm looking through and poof there's the controllers however uh it's right when it, at the front there's tubing that connects the two radiators together from both from the two sides and then tubing that goes from the radiator to the to the pump and the controllers are behind that so you can't get to it um <laughs> So I got a coat hanger and I was able to reach it and press the buttons with the coat hanger. Controllers are messed up, won't change colors, uh, won't, won't speed up the fans. You know, I, there's no adjustments. I can't, I can't do anything. Um, the buttons aren't working. Um, so uh, Digital Storm to compensate gave me a refund on the fans itself. Uh, they sent me a um, uh, what, what is it? A two terabyte hard drive, Seagate hard drive, just a regular hard drive, and six months warranty as compensation. Um, personally, I think I should have gotten a little bit more considering what I went through and how much I paid for this computer, but whatever. Um, so I took it, you know, I took that deal. I said, all right, whatever. Um, I'm not going to return it. Uh, I need a new computer. The reason why I got uh, this made was I've never done a water-cooled computer um, or water-cooled system. You know, uh, I'm, I'm a complete new when it comes to that. And due to the whole crypto mining craze and how difficult it is to get a good price on a GPU, um, I decided to go with a uh, company and. You know, I went with Digital Storm. Um, you know, the whole thing with uh, me trying to do it was if I paid all that money to 
uh, install the GPU, CPU, and try to liquid cool it, all that uh, components, all those components, and I mess up, then all that money pfft, down the toilet. So I went uh, with Digital Storm, um, and we'll go ahead and read out the specs. All right, so the computer, uh, you know, I paid for the exotic paint finish so it could be pure white. Uh, the processor is at Intel Core i7 8700K at 3.7 gigahertz. Um, motherboard is an Asus ROG Strix Z370E gaming uh, Wi-Fi Intel Z370 chipset. Uh, let's see, our system memory, 32 gigabytes, DDR4, 3000 megahertz, uh, Digital Storm Performance Series set. Uh, I got it for my power supply, a uh, thousand watt EVGA Supernova G2. Um, let's see my storage. I have one uh, 500 gigabyte uh, M2 960 Evo NVMe Express SSD card uh, for storage. Uh, my second set is a three terabyte uh, Seagate uh, HD uh, HDD drive. I have two SSD Samsung 500 gigabyte uh, SSC, SSD drive. Um, let's see my graphics card. I have uh, two SLI Dual GeoForce GTX 1080 Ti 11 gigabytes. Um, my cooling is a H20 Hydrolux Pro Exotic Custom Cooling System for two graphics card and is uh, CPU. My tubing is hardlined. Um, with red custom uh, liquid cooling. Um, my chassis fans, uh, again, are those Thermaltake Ring uh, 14 RGB fans. Um, I have internal LED lights. Uh, my CPUs was supposed to be overclocked to 5 gigahertz. Um, graphics uh, card is overclocked. And um, there we have it. So you know all in all I am happy with the computer that I have right now um, minor the whole crap I had to deal with um, I'm gonna say I'm probably in the minority when it came to the issues that I had with digital storm I don't know if, if there's any guys if, if any one of you out there have had issues uh, purchasing from them in the past uh, please let me know in the comment section down below because I'd like to know if I, I'm I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that I was probably in the minority a very select few that probably had issues with uh, UPS uh, with the shipment coming uh, to the house and having uh, a computer that wasn't functioning the way it should function um, I do th blame digital storm for having those controllers in a place where uh, you can't reach them. That's not a delivery issue. That's a quality control issue, which they are supposed to have inspector, their own inspectors checking whoever's installing for issues just like these and they messed up twice or they missed it twice. So that's on them. Um, everything else, uh, I, you know, I could point the finger at UPS. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, again, I'm I'm happy with the PC that I have right now. I'm, I'm having fun gaming. I'm having fun editing my videos on it. Uh, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, like and comment down below. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.